Yeah, it's is it on recording? Yeah. Uh, Sean Fitzgerald from Observe What Is Is. We're interviewing Grant today on his business, and uh, he's just going to run through an interview. The, the, the subject of this video will fall under the Business Strategies and Ideas playlist. Uh, a little introduction from you, Grant. Um, your full name, your age, are you married, and a little bit about you. Okay, uh, I'm Grant from Vaik, uh, 37 years old. I'm unmarried. And what do you like to do? Do you have any hobbies? Mm, not hobbies. I like to gym, keep fit, general. I did a bit of diving, scuba. Okay. Are you passionate about that? Uh, a little, a little passionate about it. Uh, I also, like it, but I just don't have the time, much time to to to, to get in the water. And you enjoy diving. You've been diving a long time. I've, I did a few dives. Not. Okay. Not many. This is recent. It's about about for the past four years, okay. but there's not. I don't much. I don't have much time in the water no, because it's a whole day thing, and I've got two kids. So. Fair enough. Okay, um, Grant. What is the nature of your present business? What is your business? Well, we. I run a small. Uh, I would say small. It's, it's, it's under five million. It's an EME. Just keep it up. Yeah. It's an EME uh, business. Uh, we do air conditioning and refrigeration maintenance, sales, repairs, installations, projects. So it's under the mechanical works banner. Okay. Is it? Um, do you? What is the name of your company? Aero Lights Air Conditioning. Okay. Have you been in operation for a long time? We've been, I've been operating for about ten years. Okay. This what? this is our tenth year. Okay. Have you ever owned a, a business in another field? No, I've never, never. Yeah, I've always uh, air conditioning. I started as an apprentice in uh, since I finished school at the 18 years old. Okay. And it's like three or four years after I qualified, and you, I started my own business. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, why did you start a business? I know you went and studied. You went did your apprenticeship, mm -hmm. but why did you start a business in air conditioning? What was it? Was it a passion for this? There was a passion, and I, uh, but most importantly, I had a uh, I had a bit of inside knowledge working for working for a a hospital. Okay. All right. For the last two years of my working career, I worked for a Saint Aidan's Hospital here in, in in Durban. All right. And uh, from there, I saw the need for I studied air conditioning prior to getting that job. I was a mechanical maintenance foreman there. And I saw a need for good all-round mechanical works people. And uh, after, as soon as I left there, I, I started my own thing and and moved moved from there. Okay, so you sort of. I'm going to move this a little closer. Are you still on the screen? Yeah. yeah. All right. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Um, what were some of the challenges to start? Did you have challenges in starting your business? Yes, definitely. Uh, the biggest challenge was the time involved. I mean, uh, for the first two or three years, I worked Monday to are. Sunday. Okay, yes. Worked Monday to Sunday with 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 uh, out a bit of rest because uh, we needed to to make ends meet at the end of the month. There was still bills to pay. I ran my own business, not knowing uh, much about the market, and 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 a lot of the works that we do. I would I would call them were freebies because now ten years later I can see everything has a cost to it. At the beginning of time we didn't when I started we didn't factor in things like fuel and and uh, all the small consumables but those are the things that 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 really add up at the end of the day. So now tell me so actually what you're saying is if I'm correct is you started off. Little naive in business. Definitely naive. Yeah. Yeah, like we all start. I wanted to start earning money, and I thought that's the way to do it. Don't worry about the cost. Don't worry about the cost. Let's just get in there, and and and. Uh, so you had some hard knocks. I did. Definitely. You, you definitely. Had, you had some I, what worked you up to? Obviously. It well, the fact I I tried to do too much at once. Okay. What I did was I started with a shop as soon as I started. It okay. Might have been about four months after it. I took a lease on a on a okay. on a little premises in Stanford Hill. Whereby I try to do some lighting sales, okay. some sales, and I try to incorporate lighting with air conditioning yes, yes. 
and for the first six months, I mean, I invested a bit of money from 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 my bonds and uh, the home that I had. Yes. Invested some money, taken some money from there to put into the shop to buy goods, and I noticed that it's hard to do a lot of things. I had to be out in the field and at the shop, so that turned to dust. We had to uh, sell all our goods off okay. within the first year. Okay. Give the shop back to the owner. Okay. Pay for the end of the lease. That is. Okay. So it was a hard knock, and then I I I took my my vehicle and I started working from door to door. Okay. Something that I knew. On your own. On my own. Wow. Something that I knew. Yeah. just me and one assistant, and we went from door to door, finding work. And was that so, a turnaround? For you? Sorry to interrupt. Was yeah. that a turnaround? Yes, 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 yes. It was definitely because it's something that I that I, that I knew about. I knew how to install an air conditioner. Okay. I knew how to fix it, mm. and I started putting all my efforts into that. Okay, and that would you say your growth from that happened now? The growth from that grow. happened, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you went back to basics. I went back to basics. Yeah. Okay, good. You started too big, I think. I started too big. Too right? big, too big. Yeah, uh, yeah. I started too big, expecting a uh, flow of people. Okay, you know what I mean, without doing much research into the market. Okay. So that that's a that's a good lesson. You that, learn that yeah, definitely a good lesson. lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up. That you got to keep your cost down. Yeah. So, so would you suggest that for a well, I'm picking up. You said start small. Start, start small. with what you know small, and then grow. Don't and just go and buy. Get big. Definitely, and, definitely, definitely. Don't okay. don't do. It. The I was lucky as well because I had a plan. All right. As soon as I finished my time, yeah. I knew that air conditioning and refrigeration is sort of a one-man band. Okay. Meaning that you can jump in your bucket, okay. grab an assistant, okay. and go out and do work. Nothing really had to come to the workshop for yes. You didn't need a premises to do it. And yeah. I was naive that time to think that I needed the premises and I needed people to come and yeah. have a look. But now, for the moment, I'm in a workshop in Springfield Park. It's tucked away in a corner. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in a business park, but I hardly get any visitors. I don't get any visitors. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of this work is over the telephone and mm -hmm. visiting people. Mm -hmm. So had I started out earlier with that, that type of knowledge, mm. knowing the market and knowing what people look for, mm. and maybe I would have I, I would have started making money sooner than I than I had. Well, they say they say uh, hindsight is a perfect science. Yeah. If I knew what I knew then. Now, if I knew now what I knew then, definitely. things would have been different. Definitely. Be learning definitely. Curve. definitely. Okay. What? Uh, uh, what are your Present, what are the present benefits to you? Are there any benefits to running your own business for you in terms of your home life, freedom? Or your, oh, I, 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 are there benefits? Unfortunately, I during during my ten years of, mm. of of running a business, I've been through two homes, okay. which is beneficial. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, but I've also been divorced uh, along the way. Okay. So it took a lot out of my family life, definitely. All right. Because Monday to Friday you had to work, you had stress. You came home with it, even yes. though you you think you're leaving it at 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 work, you actually came home with but all of this. Did you stress. say it was a cause of maybe? It it, it was part of it. Part of it, definitely, okay. definitely part yeah. of it. There was not much time at home. For sure, my life for sure. My Saturday and Sundays were were booked up. For sure. At the end of the day, and because this is a service industry, mm. you sort of on call twenty four seven. Sure. Yeah. Because you. Offering a service to somebody, you you're not selling goods. Sure. Selling goods is easy. You sure. people come pick up the goods and they go. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go to the people. So those type of challenges. So, uh, so, so definitely put a at, at the moment, the areas, yeah. presently, is it is it benefits? Are you still working this hard? No. Well, well, well. Now, after I will say that this tenth year, yeah, I can really see there is benefit. Okay. Only in the tenth year. So it took you some time. It took it took me a lot of time to figure out that sort of money comes. Money comes. You 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 can only force for it to a certain degree. You can't over push. But at the end of the day, you burn yourself out, and tomorrow's like a day off. Correct. Because yeah, that's definitely. But if you work eight to five, or it's like how I do seven to four, mm. and put your eight hours in, that's that's good enough. That should be good enough. No business should really take you from seven to ten in the night. Then, then it's definitely not worth it. But I'm only reaping these, finding out this, this, this now. This, See, this, this is why we're here. We have to the, get this knowledge the from you. Definitely. Um, okay. What are the, do you have present challenges running it? 
moment. At the moment, yes, yes, yes. What kind of challenge can you explain? I would say the biggest would be would, would be uh, labor, labor and staff. Yeah, explain that. The fact that uh, when you're running a small business, competition is high, yeah. especially in the air conditioning industry. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know much about the rest, but in air conditioning, the competition is is stiff, right? right? And you've got to be almost 100% good at what you do. Meaning that the moment you drop the ball, you tend to lose favor with your with your existing clients. Sure. And there's always somebody waiting to get in there. Okay. Meaning that you drop the ball, they pick it up and they run with it. Okay. Now staffing, training of staff, getting them to the level that, 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 that you would like them to be is a tough task. Tough task. Are, are, tough are job. people willing to work? Are people is it is it a is it a productivity issue or they're not interested or uh, is it just very difficult to learn the econ industry? Well, the econ industry is a bit technical, okay. right? but I've got guys that have been with me for the last 10 years okay. and some of them are really good right. and some of them are just hard to grasp. I think, I think it's more of a, with our business, it's more of a, uh, it's a professional business. Hmm. So the level of professional needed hmm. is, is high. Okay. All right. okay. So training, training. Mentoring and a way of uh, the way people present themselves to the clients is important. And this is a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for you. you just don't have people that are that quality. That are that quality. Yes, correct. I think that's most businesses. When you when you have a look at our business uh, grant, when you have a look at our the rest of our business, a lot of businesses uh, say that. I mean, they say that staff is a is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Of Training and uh, training and and also the <coughs> labor law these days. I mean. We, we've, we've got 12, 12 staff, yeah. we, from those 12 staff, yes, we only work Monday to Friday. Yes. That leaves us with a couple of hundred days a year. Yeah. From that hundred days a year, there's 12 staff that need 15 days uh, or 20 days leave each. Okay. They, all the public holidays are double pay, Sundays are double pay. Wow. So we have got, we, we are governed by, by these laws yeah. that on protects them, but that protects the doesn't work. Help you. It doesn't help us because the competition is so high. But 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 we are getting there. We are gaining momentum. So that's probably that's your biggest challenge. And your clients are paying. Your clients are have problems. People paying you. I mean, everybody pays. You, you, you everybody get. pays. Everybody. Well, 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 we we've we've learned a yes. few lessons along the way. Yes. That our paperwork needs to be in order. Okay. We need to uh, work by a proper order number. Carry on. Carry on. We need to to get proper letters of appointments. Yes, yes. We use the job card method whereby you you sign for your goods. Our invoices say that goods belong to us. You know, no, no, mm -hmm. without thirty days. So all of these things are very important. Okay. Your paperwork, how you take on a job. All right. It's 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 easy for someone to pick up the phone and say, "Come install thirty air conditioners." You get all excited. You get to the site yeah. and he says he wants A, B, C, D, and E. Don't worry about the money. Let's let's fill it. Now you're thinking about the about the hundred fifty thousand rand job that you yes. got. Neglecting the fact that you just met this guy for the yes. first time. You don't need to know anybody to do work for him. Yes. But at least make sure that you do your basics. Yes. Try look for them on the internet. It'll take you a couple of minutes. Send them a proper quotation with a proper what can with a proper uh, Signature okay, at the yeah, bottom, yeah, authorizing yeah. the job. Okay. Get the letter of appointment from them. Okay. Get it back from them, stating yeah. that he's employing you four hundred fifty thousand and fourteen air conditioners. It takes one hour to do, and it can save you hundred fifty thousand. Hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you, Grant. Would you recommend the aircon business to people? No, yeah, that would just be flooding the market. And we don't okay. No, no, no. Fair enough. No. Yeah, yeah. More competition. <laughs> More Sorry, competition. stay out of the aircon More industry, guys. <laughs> All right. What are the prospects of the aircon business? Are they good? The prospects obviously are good. The prospects are good, mm. but but because it's changing technology, it's 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 hard to keep abreast. What what? But the technology is still the same. I mean, it's going to always just be cooling rooms, but just different devices and different ways of doing. It. Isn't that so? Am yes, I right? yes, 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 for sure. But mm -hmm. now, uh, health and environment has come on board. 
Okay. We are, we are, we need to do things a lot differently. Our because technician the needs to be trained. And the energy factor has come yeah. in now. Yeah. Eskom is battling to, to supply us to run our stove or, or yeah. our kettle. Yeah. Air conditioning has now really taken a back seat. Yes. So what the inventors have done, they have introduced new equipment which which requires a whole lot of training. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, yeah, it's an advancing field. That's okay, it. so that's that's really what. But there's a few. Obviously, people need cool rooms. So people, people do need cool rooms. Good area, Durban, for this. There, there, there are still people with lots of money out there. Okay. Are there people with willing to buy aircons? There's still people willing to buy. It. Lots of people. Lots of people. Be, yeah. Lots of people still. You wouldn't be in business if there wasn't. There wouldn't definitely, be so many definitely, of you guys. Definitely. Do people? I just want to ask you: Do people have money? People have money today. Is the economy in a good place? There are people with lots of money. Okay. You just got to pick the right people that want. Yeah. To yeah. Do you do air cons for cars? No. No. Is it just the household? Just domestic. Well, domestic we do a bit of. Okay. We're trying to move away from it. Okay. Because the domestic market, as I say, is flooded. Okay. You've, you've, you've got people, I, I'm i not uh, running people down. At the beginning of time, that's how I started. Yes. So there's a lot of startup companies in this country. Okay. And everybody wants to start a business. Okay. So we leave, we try and leave that domestic market. To them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the honesty there, Grant. Uh, Grant, um, okay, I'm going to ask you for tips and suggestions. For yeah. somebody starting out, I mean, you had this 10 years of, of yeah. experience. Somebody starting out, wanting this for 19, maybe you think of yourself in the beginning. Definitely. And if you had to go back to when you're 19, wants to start a business, somebody 40, 50, wants to start a business, got some capital. Any suggestions for them? Uh, go for it. Go for it, but start off small. Make it, make it, make it. Uh, you got to have a passion for it, first of all. So find something that, you, that you're that passionate about and you can make a business of it. You can start your own thing. Keep it small. Keep it small. Keep money for a rainy day. There's always going to be hills and hurdles that you need okay. to, to, to overcome. And 50,000 rand today is not uh, more food and extra clothing. It's actually a small savings for you to get through the hurdles later. So, so saving money, keeping the cost down, operating small is always good. I want to ask you one question. What, if you had to look back mm. on all this time, what would you say was the critical uh, factor or critical thing that you did that, 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 that changed your business? Or would you recommend to somebody to, to, to do, whether it be discipline or no finance? What would you say was the critical, would there be a critical factor? Uh, yeah. Would there be something critical that actually you, you would have changed everything if you were good at it? Uh, well, the fact that I completed my studies before I started the business was the best thing I could have ever done. Okay. Definitely, and 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 working in in the project management field or the or the or the coordination field, knowing how critical equipment affect okay. uh, e equipment and the production line and things like that, having that sort of background mm. and knowing air conditioning mm. to its fullest mm. was the best thing I ever did. Um, I, I brought up a, knowing a, knowing. Knowing, knowing your stuff is, 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 is. brought up another question. Yeah. And also, to be quite honest, yeah. I, 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 I started business in, in a time where government assisted. Okay, lots they of helped you. With the help Not you. as in financing. No. Government assisted with uh, with their new laws, BEE, triple BEE, and now it's coming to play, okay. whereby we do get reduced, uh, 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 what can I say? It's easier to get the work. Uh, it's easier to get the work. The work, want, is, the work is open. I want to ask you another, are there people that uh, run air conditioning companies that don't have training? Are there, are there companies that actually don't train for it or they're not properly trained? Or oh, are there's they? plenty, there's plenty of companies out there. That's what sort of gives you sometimes a bad name. That's what, that's, that's what gives it, the, makes us work harder. Okay. It's harder for us to convince the client that we are oh, that we operate right. what we do, no, and we have been operating for ten years. All right. And our technician is good. That's why 
for the last 10 years or the last 8 years, I had to be the person in the front line. The front line. Right now, the people know air or light, air conditioning. But in the beginning, it was Grant from Fake. Call uh, Grant, not call air or light, call Grant. Grant, I want to thank you for that. That was some good, good advice. I'm going to do a little expo on your business. Just briefly, uh, just tell me what makes your company unique to your competitors. Or Grant, if you, if Grant's the guy that's the, the magic. What makes you, you unique? Okay, uh, I would think it would be our honesty okay. in business. Uh, our honesty, our 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 service delivery, okay. our integrity, okay. uh, our knowledge okay. of the products that we sell, okay. and uh, just 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 that. just our morale uh, and your knowledge and, and our, our knowledge skill and, and our skill. Thank yeah. you, Grant. We're gonna do. We're at the end. We've just got a few a minute or so. We're going to do. The expo on your business. I want you to leave, uh, give your full name of your company, then the address where they can find you if you want, uh, in Durban, the full proper address, and then it's a contact number. If you don't mind. Okay. You able to do that? Uh, yeah. <coughs> we are uh, Aerolite Air Conditioning. We service the, the, the uh, public sector, private sector, as well as the domestic market. We, 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 we sell all the major brands. Uh, we are based in Springfield Park, uh, 9 Mahogany Field Way. We've got a workshop with uh, 12 staff. We've got four vehicles operating every day, 24-7. Uh, and the contact details? You have contact number? details, uh, you can contact us at, via email, okay. aerolite at telcomessi.net. That's A-I-R-O-L-I-T-E at telcomessi.net. Telephone number is 031-579-4380. 031-579-4380. That's correct. correct. Hey, do you have a website? Or is it just that? No, no. no. Well, thank you. Thank you. Is it a bit, just a little bit of time, just a few seconds. Is there anything, I think I did ask, is there anything else you want to add? Did I cover everything? There will be a website. It's All coming right. out on the 1st of uh, April. 1st okay. of April. Look for it. www.aerolite.co.za Okay, great. You can always contact Aerol to find out what his website is. And please. Uh, we're at the end of the interview. I'm, uh, this is observe what is is. <coughs> sorry, Sean Fitzgerald. Please, uh, if you like this uh, video, please uh, leave your comments and suggestions and subscribe. It's free. Um, uh, Grant, won't you just uh, hit the red button? We are at the end.